Okay, everybody. Um, this is another relationship video uh, that I decided to do for you guys. And it's about uh, mainly for people that are in a relationship and keeping um, or married. So basically it's for people that's married because I am married. And, you know, so let's get into it. Yeah. So, you know, some women uh, get married and they forget that they are married. They get married and still act like they're living a single life. Like they, their mind is like in a single state. You know what I'm saying? Like um, you're supposed to be thinking like a married woman. So, on that note, uh, if you used to go out clubbing or anything, you need to stop that. No more hanging out with the girls. You are a married woman. You think he's going to be like, uh, especially if you didn't meet him in the club. If you didn't meet your uh, significant other in the club, uh, he's not going to be uh, down with, oh, I'm going out with the girls. He, no, don't do that, boo. Don't do that. Mm -mm. So, the next thing is keep your house clean, okay? Clean. Because I have visited some women's houses that were married and they did not keep their house clean. I mean, it was ridiculous, okay? Um, I mean, keep your bathroom clean, keep your kitchen clean, um, keep your floors clean. If you have to vacuum, vacuum on a regular basis. Um, if you have, uh, you know, towel on your kitchen floor in your bathrooms, keep that clean. I mean, get down and clean that grout. Uh, clean the uh, black stuff to get on the grout. I, I do all of that. Get all of that clean. Okay, so next, do the laundry. Don't let the laundry pile up. Don't let the hamper be um, bellowing over with laundry all the time. And, um, you know, you just basically have to keep a clean house. Some people don't know what keeping a clean house is. I mean, if you have to screw up some baseboards, some walls, the fingerprints around the light socket, get all of that off. Keep your house clean, okay? And put some smell goods in your house so your house can smell lovely and fragrant and beautiful inside because uh, I have a lot of burners and I would show it to you right now, but the burner is on so I keep my atmosphere light and friendly and fresh smelling and just ha have a like a very ambiance atmosphere you know in my home so I also have one in my bedroom I have burners all over the house yeah all right also you guys keep your appearance up keep it up okay um, you know some guys don't like makeup so if they don't like makeup wear very light makeup okay um, and if you had a type of guy that doesn't like makeup don't go overly excessive and do like pink and green eyeshadow all on one eye you know what I'm saying don't do that because they might really 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 be turned off by it and you know you don't want that happening okay and if your guy um, doesn't like you wearing wigs, weave, extensions, and everything. I mean, if he really doesn't like it, don't wear it. But if he's okay with it, but still, you know, he don't really like it. Like, for instance, my husband does not like it. So, um, but he'll tolerate it if it looks okay, okay? So, um, like, for instance, uh, I just purchased a wig, and, uh, I noticed that he doesn't really like this wig, and, um, he, I think he likes the ones that are a little bit shorter on me. And so, um, right now I'm rocking my real hair. <laughs> I just flat ironed it out and uh, did it like this. And um, I just straightened it out. Now, even when I was wearing my hair in those natural hairstyles, the twist outs and everything, he liked those styles. But if my hair, <laughs> if my hair was in one of those natural hairstyles, excuse me 
and it was like dry looking. Oh, he hated that with a passion. Yes, he hated it with a passion. So, um, be mindful of your significant other's feelings about your appearance. Don't be like, well, this is me. I can do what I want to do. And he'll tell me how to look. Don't, don't do that. Do, do not do that. Okay? All right. Another thing. Do not go outside wearing bonnets, ladies. Why would you want to go outside wearing a bonnet? Don't do that. Now, you know the way they wear the scarves in the little fancy way with the uh, turban knot at the top. Now, that's okay if you still make up your face and, you know, jazz yourself up, put your uh, makeup on, your, you know, and your bonnet goes with your outfit not like have your bonnet some psychedelic color then you get on some other type of psychedelic color outfit that doesn't even match what you have on at the top of your head yeah don't do that okay all right another thing is brush your teeth ladies yes i said it brush your teeth okay don't be going around not brushing your teeth not gargling that mouthwash squash squash ladies get that mouth clean uh, do not be walking around thinking you talking to him and you know you having a conversation he's going oh a breath hey okay do not be doing that because um uh, I got another video about uh, a guy that sits around and talks about things that he hates that women's women do so that'll be a video coming up uh, for you guys uh, ladies rather <laughs> uh, things that you shouldn't be doing because I hear guys talking about stuff like this all right and another thing is keep your body clean ladies uh, keep the the, 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 the uh, girly area clean keep it all fresh do not be walking around um, forgetting to put on your deodorant if you need deodorant because you know Oh, ain't nothing but like a stanky woman, okay? Do not do that. Do not do that. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm not going to do long out, drawn out videos. Uh, because I know some people don't like to watch long videos. So, I'm going to end this video right here. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, you guys. Uh, thumbs up this video and make sure you leave a comment. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.